Hey, hello there, I'm Raja and welcome to another C++ programming tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll learn about input and output in C++. So first of all, let's learn about the output. So in order to uh, output something on the screen, we have to use uh, something called C out. And we have to use two less than signs after it. I'm, ex I'm going to explain it later. And then inside a double quotation we have to put whatever we want to print so let's write mm, I am a C++ programmer I'm a C++ programmer I have wrote it so let's go and run it and as you can see it will print I am a C++ programmer now what happens now C out is meant uh, console out our console output now for us the standard console output is our monitor so whatever we write here will be uh, will be redirected will be directed towards the console output and this sign is called insertion operator now insertion operator redirects whatever we write here to console output now, as I have said before, console output for us, the standard console output is the monitor. So, whatever we write after it, it will go through the insertion operator and it will get printed in our console output or in our screen. So, that is how we uh, give outputs. Now, if we want to print some variables, uh, like I have declared a variable int a equals 5 and I just want to print the value of a. Okay, so what we'll do? Whenever we want to print the values of any variables, we don't need to put any double quotations. So I can write A here. So if I write A here, it will print the value of A. Let's go and run it. As you can see, it will print the value of A, that is 5. Now if I change the value of A to uh, 23, let's run it. Now again, 23 will print it. So whenever we want to print the value of any variable we don't need any double quotation marks now let's uh, write another thing suppose I want to write um, I am a programmer okay I have written I am a programmer in the next line I'm writing I am cool too I'm a programmer and I'm a cool too I'm cool too so let's run it oops let's compile and run it oh my god I just wrote these things in separate line but how the heck these things became in the same line so in order to make those things write those things in separate line we have to write one more uh, manipulator that is called ENDL or ENDL it is short for end line so if we put end line here now uh, what I mean by end line is that one uh, this is end of one line so whatever will be put after it will go in a separate line so now let's run it as you can see we have two things in two separate lines okay so whenever we wanna declare something in next line we have to put an end L or end of line here so now let's run about inputs uh, now remember this is the insertion operator okay and let's run about inputs so whenever we wanna take input from keyboard or our standard console input we have to put something like C in the C in and then we have to use this greater than greater than or this is called extraction operator the previous one was called insertion operator and this is called the extraction operator so what the extraction operator does is let's create a variable named B so what the extraction operator does is it redirects from console input to this variable so whatever value is taken from the console input for in our case the standard console input is our keyboard so whatever is written from the keyboard will be redirected to this variable okay so let's take input into this variable and the next line print the value of the variable so what happened is whatever I will write in this V uh, whatever I will insert in this V variable from the standard input will be redirected to the standard output and it will be printed so let's give a prompt to the user let's write uh, input uh, value okay 
and put a value and okay let's just run it so what will happen is it will output or print in the screen input a value and then it will wait for me to give an input and then it will output the value I have given inside B so let's go and run it come on yeah it says input a value and waiting for me to give it a value let's give it a value like 56 and then press enter and then it is prompting me that 56 so whatever I have entered is coming back okay so this was it for this tutorial we learned about inputs and outputs instruction and extraction operators I hope you I hope it helped and you will love the tutorial a lot please subscribe and if you have any questions just write those in comments thank you very very much for watching this video I hope it helps thank you